What's up everyone, it's your girl Jess here. So if you have not made your vegetables yet, stay tuned. Uh, I know some of you are out there meal prepping, some of you meal prepping mamas, get it? So I'm gonna show you a super, super, super easy way to make some quick veggies so that you have them. You have at least five days worth, if not more. Um, this recipe, you know, well, actually there's like five of them. They're super easy. You can make a ton of vegetables if you want, or you can just make one batch or one serving. It doesn't really matter, but they're really super yummy and I hope you like them so first of all when I get veggies most of the time I get them frozen unless like there's something I really want to make and I know what it calls for like there's an ingredient a vegetable ingredient in there and I know I'm gonna cook it right away because of course we have that issue where you buy some vegetables and you plan on eating them but you know it just doesn't work out that way so um, I buy most of mine frozen so today I picked up some asparagus and some green beans and I also picked up an Italian style vegetable blend which has some zucchini, some green beans, some uh, cauliflower, carrots, blah blah blah. Whole bunch of uh, veggies up in here. And again, we know that we need our vegetables. If you guys are on that uh, whole weight loss kick, you're trying to get your, you know, summer body ready. <laughs> you know, um, vegetables gotta have them in your diet. Fiber, vitamins, water, all kinds of good stuff. Low in calories will fill you up fast. So make sure if you don't plan anything else, you plan to get your vegetables in at least for lunch and dinner. There are ways to work them in breakfast, but today we're meal prepping for lunch and dinner. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I've got my pan already, and like I said, this is super duper easy. Um, and what I did, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna lower this just a hair so you can see. So I have lined my pan, the regular pan, with some parchment paper. And that's gonna keep my vegetables from sticking to our um, our pan here. And you know, when you use parchment paper, it actually um, keeps a lot of the flavor within the vegetables. Sometimes when you use metal pans, some of the flavor come, um, from the pan comes into the vegetables and um, they really taste a lot better when it comes to um, putting parchment paper on. So what we're gonna do here, super simple. So I'm gonna start with this Italian vegetable medley because um, I probably will have this more than a couple of days. And uh, the label says that a serving size is three fourths of a cup. Uh, and there are five servings in this container. I actually probably will have double that for each meal. So this will last me about two, two and a half meals. So what we're gonna do, and again, I'm gonna lower this so you guys can see, is I'm simply just going to roll these on my pan. And they're already frozen, so just gonna Spread them out just a hair so that, oh, my oven's ready. So, also, I know you guys can't see me. Let me squat here. So, I actually have found this um, extra virgin olive oil spray. And um, it gives me the opportunity to add some oil to this without, you know, not drenching my uh, vegetables in, in olive oil. Again, not adding a whole lot of calories, but still being able to roast them and um, not add a ton of oil to this. So, super simple. When you're roasting veggies, you wanna make sure that you add your oil first because you want your seasonings to stick to your vegetables. So, um, add oil first. So here we go. That's it. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two different types of seasonings with this. I'm going to do, <laughs> actually, I went to Costco for the first time yesterday. And let me tell you, if you, if you love buying things in bulk, see, I don't buy a whole lot in bulk, but seasonings and spices, I will buy in some bulk. So I love Costco. I'm in love with Costco. I'm in love with the Costco. 
go hey <laughs> so what i'm gonna do here is let me let me show y'all what i'm getting ready to do here and please excuse my uh camera action here because you know i'm by myself and uh i don't have any help here so i'm gonna split these veggies in two split them up just a hair and i'm going to put my mrs dash on one half and don't be scared when it comes to the season. I know you're like, dang, she put a ton in here. Yeah, don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's okay. It's okay. All right. And then the next one, I actually have this other Mrs. Dash um, that is a Fiesta Lime. Can y'all see that? There you go. Fiesta Lime. And I'm going to put that on my other vegetables here. So the thing about Mrs. Dash is is that there's no salt in it so it's all spices and look at this color love it love it love it okay so the next vegetable that I'm gonna cook here is my asparagus so I'm gonna break this open here I'm gonna do one other line of asparagus tips and let's see I'm trying to figure out what seasoning I want to use with my asparagus. I got three others left. So, let me bring the camera down so y'all can see me. All right. So, there's the asparagus. It's already on there. Actually, I want to put, let's just put a little bit more on here just for the effect. Fill it in, fill it in. All right. So, I have a vegetable blend. I have a salad supreme blend and I have ooh, garlic pepper. Let's do the garlic pepper. We're going to do garlic pepper. All right. So garlic pepper. Oh, almost forgot the olive oil. <laughs> All right. So there we go. I'm just going to give it a little bit more here. There we go. All right. So right here on top, right on top. Again, this particular blend is salt-free, as you can see on the label. So we have not added any salt, but we've got some, look at this, that looks so pretty. All these little seasonings on our vegetables. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we are gonna pop this in the oven. I've got my oven sent to 425, and we're gonna leave it in there for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm gonna check it just because every oven is different, and last time I did this, I wasn't at my oven. So um, we'll check back in about 10 or 15 minutes and see what happens. See y'all. Like a stir fry, whip it in the kitchen wrist, just like a stir fry, whip it in the kitchen wrist, just like a stir fry. All right, we are back. So our veggies are ready. It's been about 10 minutes, and I uh, wanted to show you guys just so you can see what the final product looks like. So we've got, I took them out, out of the oven already. So this is what we're working with here. So we've got our asparagus, doesn't that look so pretty? Let me bring you a little closer. So we've got our asparagus here with um our garlic pepper seasoning and then we've got here our italian style veggies with our fiesta lime seasoning and then we've got our other italian veggies with our original mrs dash and again no sodium flavorful full of good fiber vitamins and minerals and super easy I plan on, I've got some salmon that I bought from Costco and um, <laughs> I'll make that. Um, I've also got some turkey burgers that I'm working with um, and that's probably it for, for the week. So between the salmon and the turkey burgers, I've got my uh, protein all taken care of. Oh, oh, I actually got some chicken too. I might um, go ahead and cook that off. Um, we'll see but yeah all you got to do i mean meal prepping is so easy all you got to do is figure out what meat you're having it doesn't have to be anything special um and then figure out what veggies you're having as you can see i've got like at least five days worth of veggies right here um already ready to go so uh let me know if you have questions hope you enjoyed talk to you soon Whip it in the kitchen wrist just like a stir fry Whip it in the kitchen wrist just like a stir fry Whip it in the kitchen wrist